Well, welcome back. And I am absolutely delighted to welcome two guests today. Um, Adrian Bratt, who's the Executive Director, General Counsel and External Affairs at Princess Yachts. And our very own Lance Chatfield, who um, heads up our Manufacturing Maritime. And welcome, both of you. Hi, Jackie. Hi, hi. So this part of the programme today is actually considering the skill needs of a key sector for Plymouth, and that's our Maritime maritime. So in particular, how important it is in partnerships with employers. So Adrian, how are the relationships going then in terms of um, the college and Princess Yachts right now? When we, we, you and I first met up, I don't know, a couple of years ago now, and it's about understanding the art of the possible. And a lot of these conversations, the, the buzzword is often collaboration. It's about putting the meat on the bones of collaboration, what it actually is. And that's about investing the time to understand what we do as a manufacturer, who we employ, why we employ them, and what our challenges are. And from our perspective, it's understanding what you as an organisation can provide. Mm -hmm. And once you have those those conversations and really understand, it's about picking off where you can start to, to deal with the challenges that we face as a business and understanding the challenges you've got as a provider and marrying up the two and and, and del- delivering something at the end of it so in terms of the level of the conversation we've gone beyond just talking about what the problems are that's the easy bit finding the solutions is the challenge and we princess yachts and city college are some way down the road now in, into actually practically addressing those challenges i say that's absolutely beautifully put because you know just reflecting on what you were just saying there you know, we got round the table and had some really open and frank conversations of what can we provide, um, what do you need? And Lance, you're absolutely fundamental in that. So can you talk to us a little bit about that? Yeah, of course I can. I mean, it's, you know, the college is instrumental to, you know, playing its role within the in the skills gap and reducing that skills gap across the city, but particularly, you know, with with key employers like Princess Yachts. Um, and, and like Adrian, you know, said, it's it's about us sitting down and understanding what the need is first. That's that's the big thing. We need to understand what it is that employers need so that we can start to address that. Now, some of that could be tra- through traditional programmes, but we also can, you know, as a college, we can be flexible and adaptable and make sure that we're starting to build programmes around those needs um, and making sure that you know we can start to reduce that skills gap and Princess Shots is a prime example you know what we've done with them in terms of making sure that not only are the students who are going through the current program that we're working on um, have the qualifications they need but are also work ready because Mm. that's key you know these people need to be ready to hit the shop floor make sure they meet the needs of the business from every aspect not just from a qualification aspect what actually makes city college different than lance it's for us it's it's like say you know a lot of colleges will just look at the look at the pure qualification and that's it for us we went that step beyond we started to add value to our courses you know for example you know working on the on the wood occupations course that we deliver for princess shots at the moment we make sure that our setup is that they come in at half past seven in the morning and they work from Monday to Thursday, meeting the, t- the times that the Princess Short works do. They undertake all every aspect they need to make sure that they can undertake the skills test, whether that's through scribing or building specific components to make sure that they can walk into, ready, into the Princess Shorts and be ready to work. But Adrian, from the employer's point of view then and from your point of view... What has City College actually done to bridge those skills gaps? And have you got an example of that? I have. Um, um, what, what, what did it, the way to make it work is about not trying to do everything at once. Mm. You target a specific area, you put in the resource and the attention to make that work and then look about growth sustainably because there's an immediate, there's an immediate challenge and there's a long-term piece as well. And an immediate challenge could be easy to deal with, but then then everything stops and, and, mo- and moves on and, and you've lost the... The, you've lost the learning and the, uh, and, the, and the internal skill to develop that course. So particularly in the carpentry sector, mm. we've, we, we, it, it, it's a common shortage. Um, carpentry's just joined the um, the government's um, skills um, migration list in terms of it's a known it's a known um, area of where, where we're lacking people in the UK. Um, but the, the people are there and the people want to learn and the people are, apl- are applying to join us but didn't have the skills to be able to get through a trade test. So we identified a specific um, a specific gap 
targeted that gap. Lance is absolutely right. We understand how the business operates, understanding the, the skills we needed, fill that gap and get the people into the business actually working at the end of it. Mm -hmm. and, and the key is to look at that area, just do start off small, think big. Look, start off with the, the immediate challenge and look how you can develop that to all the other areas across the business. Because yes, we're a manufacturer, but there's, there's a whole... There's a whole range of manufacturing skills we need, but there's there's other, being the scale of the business we are in Plymouth, there's other skills we need around being procurement or logistics or design. So always have an eye to the longer term. If we've we've gone through the, the not the pain, but the, we've gone through the effort of understanding how to make it work for that specific area, but always have an eye on where else can we use it going forward? So we've gone, we've gone through the time and the, 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 the effort of, of, of putting those relationships in place, building that knowledge and that corporate understanding of how our business operates. Let's not waste that mm. and let's continually build going forward because that collaboration piece that will, will address the skills gap is, is about that. It's about the human relationships, it's about the understanding and it's about the, the strategy going forward. So how successful has it in that particular skills gap then? Well, we've we've got people working in our business that have have, have done the course. Mm -hmm. They've they 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 and when they when they come in, they they've they've got the confidence of they now know what is what the baseline is. They've they our work um, shift patterns. They're not a shock to anyone. They know where we are. They know what we're about, and they're in the business working mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. And how does City College build on that, Lance? I think, like Adrian said, you know, the next step is, is and then we've already started this, is to start to look at where the other skill shortages are. And, and Adrian mentioned, mentioned procurement and logistics. Mm -hmm. um, and that's basically because of the relationships that we started to build with the business. You know, these people are now coming to the college from various departments across Princess Yachts and saying, you know, we've seen what you've done. We've seen how it works. We've seen these people going into, into the business and making a difference. You know, how can we now work with the college to make our step within our own sectors um, and that's you know and that's what we're here to do we're here to bridge that skills gap right across the board eventually but like Adrian said it's it's small steps let's keep building keep building and use those relationships to make it happen okay and we have been talking about maritime haven't we yeah. um, as a fundamental um, gap going forward and Lance I see you brought something on the table here what's that yeah so this this is the uh, maritime UK awards um, we were nominated for an award at the the Maritime UK um, in Hull last week and we were winners. Oh. So, um, so we won that for the work we've done around the maritime sector, um, the fact that we brought uh, over 50 employers into the college um, during Maritime UK week to talk about skills specifically. Um, and at the end of it, the call to action was to start bringing all those employers together to meet that skills gap, to understand what, where the gaps were. Um, and it's a fantastic award, a real accolade for the college, um, you know, on a national level. And from that, and from the discussions that we had during Maritime UK Week, we've now established a Maritime and Defence Skills Partnership, which we're leading along, um, alongside um, members of staff from Babcock, but working closely with Princess Yachts as well and other maritime uh, key stakeholders. So something to be proud of then. And in terms of maritime being fundamental to our city and Princess Yachts, Adrian, have you got anything to say about that? Well, look, it, it's, it, it's a good reminder of the the maritime heritage and provenance that we've got in Plymouth and building on the foundations that have been there for hundreds of years. And I think, I think well, rather than just sit back and rest on our laurels and, and, and being thankful for the award, it's a, it's a real um, shot in the arm to for challenge for us now to talk to those other employers, find out exa exactly the same conversations we've had with you, understand what the other employers need and where we, where we can go as one cohesive whole mm. with, with a request from you guys or, or, or other, other, other providers in terms of what we need and and from a citywide perspective, build on that the maritime skills sector and make make this a you know a hub for a known hub nationally and internationally for maritime skills. Mm. So those employers in that supply chain and in your supply chain are absolutely fundamental for yeah. success. So it goes back to us all working collectively together, those relationships being really robust and strong and working with each other to bridge those skills gaps, especially in maritime, what we're talking at the moment today. Yeah, yeah. doing stuff, not yeah. talking about it, getting yeah. on, like the carpentry course, putting it into action, showing what we can do and building on it.
brilliant. So wise words from Adrian Bratt. Thank you so much and thank you for your contribution today. Adrian's moving on and Lance is, is um, staying with us. So yep. thank you very, very much both. Okay. Coming up, Lance will be staying with us, as I said, and will be joined by Fallon Hart from Kia Group. And we'll be discussing the pivotal role that collaboration has in addressing the skills gap with supply chains and construction. So thank you very much. Thank you. We will be now taking a look at your comments on social media. So join us after the break. For more information about the Big Skills Discovery, visit cityplim.ac.uk or scan the QR code on your screen right now.